Hello, MacWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior Online, where we are playing the Hellbringer today. People were asking me if Omnipod bonuses are worth it, and I'm like, yeah, it really depends on the loadout. Sometimes you're, you're really limited because when you're running Omnipods, you have the choice of hard points, and uh, the quirks are sometimes worse than your better hard points that you get from other Omnipods that you mix and match. However, the Hellbringer has some merits because it is uh, usually it is a laser bolt that you run, and if you take the Hellbringer Prime and take all the prime omnipods you get an energy heat of negative 10% quirk and that is actually pretty good and for that reason we're gonna take the Hellbringer Prime today and we are using four ER large lasers. It is a bit weird to have the large laser here on the left arm. I know, uh, it's better on the torso, it would be better on the head obviously, so you have better better hard points so you can peek better. However, the 10% gives us more DPS and we can engage a bit better, which means if you just find a good spot where your relatively low slung arm hard point, which is down here, doesn't really matter, you can peek around left side corners and um, you know just uh, expose yourself very briefly in a horizontal manner, shoot the enemies, you have your ECM and then you pull back and you can do it at a very, very, very long range because today we are running ER large lasers, so we can shoot at about a kilometer if we wanted to. However, usually I want to be at like 600, 700 meters, so I actually have a, a certain amount of uh, aim, of course, because a little pixel shooting is sometimes very, very um, difficult and I'm not a fan of zoom. So let me quickly talk about the zoom real quick because I get that question so often, guys. I don't use advanced zoom because you uh, change or advanced zoom changes the behavior of the mouse and I have a very certain mouse arm memory. My muscle memory is kind of uh, completely bound towards uh, like regular regular vision or zoomed in vision when you use the mouse wheel. And I am just not trained with advanced zoom. That's, that's why I'm not using it. It's super sway, it's super wobbly and I think it's not worth the investment. So if I can shoot at uh, a kilometer without zoom, and shoot the pixels because I am uh, already trained so so well with my with my regular mouse movement. Then uh, why would I use advanced zoom? It doesn't help me. And therefore, I'm gonna put these points for um, that that would give us an active enhancement into something that gives me a passive bonus. For example, cooldown, armor, uh, heat dissipation, anything that helps me that I um, cannot influence with my own skill. And that's why I'm not using advanced zoom. All right. We have some heat sinks. We have an ECM. That's um, what we have on this mech. It is actually pretty cold. We have a 1.4 heat management here, so we can shoot often. Important thing, though, little triangle says we shouldn't shoot more than two lasers at the same time of the large variety because then we will generate ghost heat, and that is not good because then you cannot shoot that often. So use group fire. Stagger your shots. That's what I'm saying. Now let's uh, talk about the skill build here, and this is what I was uh, talking about. Uh, what I was talking about earlier. All of these bonuses here are great because we have lots of cooldown, lots of heat gen uh, reduction, and we have the laser duration reduction. This is it's something that I cannot influence other than just picking the notes. And I was skipping survivability completely because I wanted to see if I can maneuver myself into a position where I'm not even seen and uh, not even getting that much return fire. We have the range advantage. We can go somewhere where we are. Very unlikely to get shot that often, which means uh, the enemies won't, won't deal so much damage to us over time, unless we are in close quarter combat, because then you get just obliterated. Uh, however, we have maximum cool run, we have maximum heat containment, we are an energy build, we want all of that. I have enhanced ECM systems, I even have a seismic sensor today, and yes, I took target info gathering here, but I didn't take the uh, one advanced zoom thing. It's a thing that just doesn't help me. It is actually the the opposite. It actively hinders me hitting my stuff. Therefore, I'm not taking it. We also have two consumables here, two cool shots as well as an artillery strike and that's the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. If you have that, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing the Robolite Oasis. We are playing uh, Domination. We have an Enforcer with us. I want to quickly check my heat. Hopefully nobody is running into me. Yeah, it's about 50%. It's kind of solid. But our heat dissipation is also pretty good. So that's what we're going to be doing. Something like that. Half a second is what you need between the shots to not run into ghost heat. You can take an alpha strike once, by the way. You get up to like 80% heat or so. But uh, it is not advised in a longer fight when you really need your heat management to push back the enemies. Ideally, by the way, we would have gone to the high ground here. But it's kind of hard to get there from our spawn position. So... I'd say... Oh, left or right? I cannot really decide. This is so hard. Yeah, we're gonna go to the right side and try to get the high ground there. We're gonna hopefully bypass the Battlemaster here. 
yeah, we are able to. So that's good. And yes, guys, you will see me wobbling around with my mouse a little bit because arm lock. I am not proficient with arm lock, not at all. Because I always have been playing it like this, dragging the crosshair along the little, what's it called? Uh... It's a little circle there. And um, as a result, this is it's a different mouse movement when I have it like this. Hello, little one. Yeah, I've seen you. But I was showing something off here. Uh, there's a UAV in... Uh, you see it, Echo 5, right? Um, and also a commando. Can you take the UAV above us? That would be great. Thank you. All right. That's good. That's an urban mech. All right. We hit him a little bit, but just a little bit. So, here we go. Hi, guys. Oh, you have PPCs, you say? That's not good at all, I guess. Oh, is it an... It's a it's a 60... Yeah, it's a 60-rated engine that he's running there. Ow, he's peppering me with bullets. All right, driving me out of here. Cool. So, we are hot, but we already dealt a good chunk of that. It's another UAV. Hi. Let's take it down. That's not good, man. It was probably the commando... I don't know if that was a commando again. I definitely want to peek around here now. Okay, let's go. There was a guy standing all by himself. And I want to just burst him apart. And he cannot really... Hit. Can he hit me in return? He seems to have some policy lasers. But policy lasers are kind of not good in terms of range. And I'm just going to go for it. He can pepper me all along. But there's, mm, there's help coming. There's big help coming. All right. So yet again, we dealt some great damage there. What about this Hellbringer? He's just eating it a lot. All right, there's the guy. There's the Bringer of Hells. Bringer was dropping. There's the Timber. So, I always try to go for a, a single location, by the way. I try to go for the left side torso of the Timber Wolf. Also, I dropped artillery there so just to drive him out. And I, I got some additional damage in, probably against the Timber. You know what? I feel, I feel cocky. Let's go. Oh, he's there. He's still there. Didn't expect that, to be honest. Where's the victor? There was a victor in the, in the low ground. There he is. All right. Ah, oh, that's too much, though. That nah, is way too much. All right. So our firing line is getting probed by the enemies now, and I will fall back as a result. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. All righty. So where, where to go? We need to find another angle on the Timberwolf, ideally. Is he still there? He is. Hi, buddy. And that was, again, good damage against the Wolf of Timbers. I wish I had a UAV. Can we get a UAV in Delta V? Would be great. Also, we are dying. Horribly, horribly dying there. And that's a push. That is a push where we will just get obliterated. Let's take... Uh, yep, take our leave here. <laughs> this is not my fight anymore. I'm gonna try to help out down here instead. This flank is gonna be completely overrun. You can say no, whoa, Barra is running from the fight, but I'm in no fighting condition at all. Well, we can take Urban Max here. Uh, yeah, we should apply more pressure down here. On the legs, of course. All right, uh, enemies are now coming from the high ground. They are still fighting this high ground. You know what? I'm gonna go in. This is where we. This is where we go. This is where we fight here. And again, side torso. This guy can kill me. I don't know why he's running. He should know that he has uh, the better matchup against me, maybe. But maybe he's just seeing that everybody is pushing them. Yeah, let's go. That's what I mean. Oh, we got the kill, though. Legs on the adder. I saw it was damaged before. Legs on adder. Legs on adder. Legs on the other guy. Did get him. So, seven and six. We're actually gaining some momentum here. Legs on the commando as well. Oh. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. It's so wacky. So wonky. Alrighty. So, oh, positioning, guys. Positioning is super important here. Don't shoot me. That's what I meant. Don't shoot me. Alright. So, I'm a stick. I can't do anything anymore. Guys, I'm going in. I'm gonna tank some damage for you. I have nothing anymore. Please use it now. Engage now, please. Now. Enemies are hot. Use it. Ah, uh, man. 700 damage. I mean, uh, okay. It's, it's actually damage here that we've dealt. Sadly, um, we, we couldn't really bring it to a lucky end here. It seems like there is all of a sudden a victor coming in, making a solid push happen. I mean, we had the better positioning overall, but as soon as our enemies came close, our whole peaking situation was, you know, 
was gone. It was completely gone. And that, that is where my mech cannot do that much anymore. This is where we needed the brawlers. This is where we needed the frontliners, the burst damage guys, the close rangers. And um, that's also one of the reasons why I disengaged from the high ground. I could have done nothing there. And I would have died way earlier than I died now, which means the damage that I applied in the bottom wouldn't have been applied. And yeah, here we are. Sadly a loss, but again, the damage that we dealt was pretty good in the end. It was really nice. 700 on Rubelite on a laser mech. Pretty, pretty good. So I'm I'm actually definitely happy with what we did here. Now let's have a look at the end score before we go over to the second game. Because there is one more. So stay tuned, guys. Let's check it out. Uh, definitely was a good game, though. Yeah, I really liked it. I really liked my, my high ground positioning there. We got two killing blows, four assists, one kill, most damage dealt, 710 damage done, 400 taken, as well as two components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Canyon... No, it's, uh, it's not Canyon Network. That's the other thing. <laughs> it is the Caustic Valley. Something with C. We have to go for night vision here because it's utterly dark and I motivated my team to go more to the left side, so I hope it's kind of working. Alright, um, where, where do we set up here? I think I want to get a little bit to the outskirts, actually. Let's stay, like, here because enemies won't know where the shots are coming from because I'm super invisible. I'm stealthy. I am not seen at all. Unless I'm shooting my lasers, then everybody can trace me back to that spot. Alright, so we are going to Echo 4. I wonder if our enemies are NASCARing or not. What I do like, though, is that everybody is staying together, except for me. And if there is a, uh, a stealthy guy coming around the corner, trying to make a wide circle to our team, uh, I will be the one <laughs> that he's gonna shoot. So, nobody's here. Nobody's here! They're also doing anti-NASCAR. Uh, I have the feeling enemies are doing anti-NASCAR as well. Oh no. Oh no. There, There's a guy. I'm so much in the open right now. That's not good, man. I mean, I have some teammates around. Ish. Ish. <laughs> there we go. Ah! Laser beams! Let's get him! Yeah, that was just a scout. I just want to see if he pooped a UAV, but it seems like he did not. So, yeah, cool. Man, how much do I want to be in the center of this area here? Okay, that's damage. Yup, let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. This is not my spot. This is neither, really. Honestly, what's the Marauder doing there? He's dead. That's what he is. He's dying. He's just pushing in like crazy. All right, let's go for this guy. Lots of damage. Wow, my right side torso is getting obliterated here. And there's a, there's a stealth flea in our mid. All right, I'm going to get into the center here. Hello, leave me alone, please. All right, and oh, there's a there's an IV4. It's a quick draw with medium lasers and stuff. Yeah, now I wish I could be on my side here, on my on my peeking side, but I am I'm not. All right, Thanatos is about to die. That's great. So he is basically down. Highlander on the side there. Hmm. All right, lots of artillery also flying. Let's go for the Jaeger. We have a pretty good left side peeking situation going on here. It's actually where I want to be, so we're going to go in again because we are freaking cold. Okay, I wish I could also drop an artillery, but I, I guess we are not. So whenever we are going in, we got to shoot here. Are you peeking? You are. Good. You know what? I'm going to go and... <sighs> Heat vision is, I think, the best way to get it done here. Hi. Good, that's solid damage. Um, four and one. Actually, we are getting we are getting an advantage here, slowly but surely. What about you, buddy? I I gotta go. I'm getting Daka down. Oh wow. Oh, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. I think I thought. Oh, I'm I'm also stuck completely. Yeah, I pushed over the ridge a bit too much. As a result, I'm now super stuck, and my center torso is getting obliterated. We got the kill on the hunchy though. Come on, let me, let me go, let me go. Thank you very much. Okay, so cool shot now because we want to have a cool shot later. And what a game, guys. It escalates so, so hard. Wolfie is killable. Six and four, though. Here's the Wolfie down. Nice. So where do we go? We don't need the right side torso, huh? Do we? I don't know. I mean, we definitely, certainly do. That's a side. That's good. Ah, let's go. Let's get the Mala. He man, he is about to die. There we go. Even overheating a little bit, just for good measure. <laughs> so, I believe the flea is still alive, huh? And then there was something going on here. 
with a Cyclops? What was going on here? Herbie calls for assistance. I'm gonna give him assistance. There is a Hellbringer, enemy Hellbringer, with a bunch of lasers too. So yeah, there, there are still some enemies around, but I wanna, I wanna have some fun with them. All right, let's go around here. There's a guy behind me, I'm very well aware. There's a Highlander? With a lots of peeps? Uh, yeah, we're gonna get this guy. We will get this guy. It's not us that's getting I mean, it's a team that's getting him. Not me, specifically, though. Hey, man, again, who needs... <laughs> who needs a uh, left side torso? This guy. So, yeah, 573 damage, nonetheless. I mean, yeah, we are damage over time build. And, um... Yeah, I exploded here. I mean, that's obvious, right? But, um... Cool. I wanted to get the kill. Maybe I should have waited just a little bit more. Now, wait a second. How much damage did we deal as a team? I mean, seriously, that was so quick. We had uh, 573 here. We took 400 something. We got seven components destroyed. Uh, and that with half a side to also over half of the game. I mean, our Urban Mech K9 was going nuts. Holy crap. And uh, after that, it's the Hellbringer here. Yeah, look at this. It's such an efficient game here. Everybody was, was just doing their part. And... The damage score overall, except for Irby, who is just a murder, <laughs> murderer, uh, he is he's just going nuts. Anyway, that is your daily dose for today, everybody. It was the Hellbringer with a large laser loadout, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.